Two towns separated by more than 1,600 miles but forever connected by tragedy. Many questions remain as to why these events happen, and they are bracing one another and vowing to move forward. Winnie Wilde is in El Paso, Texas, with some of their stories. There's a guy with an AK-47, white man like, with an AK-47 just shooting up the police, and that's when it registered. It's like, this is a mass shooting. Stories of heroism. I opened the uh, shipping containers that are in the back of the store, and I threw the uh, customers in there. And survival from two cities that suffered mass shootings in just 13 hours. And he shot eight more bullets. I counted them because I said one of these is going to be mine. Some survivors even reuniting. That's your guardian angel. There she is. There she is. The two communities that lost more than 30 lives and saw many more injured are honoring the victims and trying to return to some sense of normalcy. I just remember seeing bodies and sheets, you know just riddled all over the sidewalk throughout the Oregon district. In Dayton, Ohio, businesses in the popular Oregon district reopened Monday, including the bar that was targeted by the gunman. Organizers of a gun show planned for this coming weekend announced they would cancel the event out of respect. And in El Paso, one funeral home announced they will provide free funeral services for families who lost a loved one. El Paso police say that the shooting was entirely random and the suspect had driven 11 hours from Allen, Texas. They say he was lost and hungry, so he stopped inside that Walmart. The president is expected to visit Dayton, Ohio and El Paso, Texas tomorrow. We will continue to follow the story.